this is going to be the last video that I do that's one of the shorter videos. Um, and then the rest, I'm just going to do like a longer video that I'll put on my YouTube channel. But basically, the main thing I wanted to highlight is this, the dysfunction that the choice slash voucher movement is is pinpointing and the dysfunction that public education teachers have felt for years and years, there's an overlap there. And we have to be very careful about acknowledging that overlap and recognizing that there are some good arguments to people saying that public education isn't working anymore. And teachers know that and teachers acknowledge that, but that doesn't mean that we should completely throw the baby out with the bathwater. You know, that when you look at the problems of education, it is the people who live in that scarcity mindset, that fear-based mindset that are actually causing the destruction of education. And then once they've destroyed it, they look at it and go, look, it's not working. It's well, because yeah, you, you broke it. You know, you, you did that. You did that with your scarcity fear-based mindset, you know, whereas education learning can only really take place. True learning can only take place in a place of growth and a place of safety. And if we are constantly in fear of what is either being taught or not taught or tested or not tested or shown or not shown, if that's all we can do, then we're going to have a very limited, finite view of what learning is. And learning is not like that. Learning is infinite and it needs to be something that is personal. Um, and data points aren't personal and they never have been personal. And I, I apologize to all of my colleagues who, who say, well, you know, if you look at the way the data moves, it can be personal. It can't. That's a human being. That's a human being that has different understandings of the world around them and they are learning and they are growing. And your data point doesn't show that. That's why it's relationships before rigor. That's why it's important for you to, you know, get respect and, and, and have respect for your students. All of those emotional aspects that no one wants to acknowledge are actually part of the formula. Those are really important. And standardization and scripting of curriculum and standardized testing and the way that school is moving now into a fear-based mindset, it that ruins it. It ultimately, it ruins it. And I think that it's time that we talked about that and had those hard conversations. Because if we don't, we are not acknowledging just how quickly this can go the wrong way for public education. If we pretend it's not happening, it doesn't go away. It's not like that. So we need to have those conversations. And so that's what I'm going to do.